Hello, I'm Sue Locke and I'm the Managing Director of Leicester City Clinical Commissioning Group. That's the organisation that plans and buys most of the health services for those of you that are registered with GPs in the city. We're having our annual public meeting tonight, but for those of you that aren't able to attend, I thought it would be good to be able to highlight some of our key achievements for you to understand. I'm pleased to say that during the last year we've improved our performance against three out of the four national targets. More people have been seen within four hours in A&E. There have been fewer delayed discharges or transfers of care out of hospital which can lead to bed shortages. And there have been more people seen within two weeks at hospital following an urgent referral by their GP for suspected cancer. Unfortunately though, for those people who have been waiting for non-urgent care, there has been an increase in the number of those waiting more than 18 weeks and that's something that we're going to be focusing on in the future. I'm also proud of our many other achievements during 2018-19. For example, we've increased the diagnosis rates of people living with dementia, which allows them to access support to help them and their carers. We've exceeded the target, the national target, by more than 20% in this area. Our referral support service has seen 180,000 appointments delivered in the community rather than in a hospital setting, avoiding patients having to travel to hospital. And we have many community projects where we have been working with the council, Leicester City Council, to support patients in the community. And that's helped to avoid hospital admissions where necessary and allowed patients to come home earlier once they're well. We're pleased to have achieved all of our statutory financial targets during 2018-19 and NHS England have given us an annual assessment rating of good for the third year running. You can see our full annual report on our website. This will be my last APM as Accountable Officer and Andy Williams is due to take over before the end of the financial year as the Chief Executive of the three CCGs. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to lead this organisation, but I know you'll be in very safe hands in the future. Thank you.